Welcome to Channel 8 News. Good evening. I'm reporter Naomi Yorby, sitting here with Mr. Alexander T. Wolf to talk about his new book, The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. Mr. Wolf, it seems like everyone thinks that you're a big bad wolf and that you killed three little pigs and ate them for dinner. But you're here to talk about your new book where you explain that that is not the story. Yeah, it all started with just a cup of sugar. Um, I was trying to bake a cake for my granny birthday uh, and ran out of sugar I went to the nearest neighbor's house it happened to be Mr. Pig um, and so I just went over to his house to, to borrow some sugar and uh, yeah that's where it all kind of started. I see so how does asking for a cup of sugar lead to an entire house come crashing down? Well yeah at the time um, I had a pretty severe cold Mr. Pig's house was made of straw, you know, it's very fragile straw, straw is not a great, you know, material to build a house with, but yeah, anyways, uh, feeling sick, his house is made of straw, knocked on the door, no one is answering, uh, and then all of a sudden he just sneezed, the whole house came crashing down, down, it was a real, you know, real big thing. That sounds terrible, but it doesn't explain why you ended up eating Mr. Pig. Yeah, well, okay, so, you know, Mr. Pig was home the entire time, very rude, not answering the door, home the entire time, didn't know he was home, and uh, when the house came down, he, uh, he, it turned out he was dead as a door doorknob because the house crashed down on top of him, Wow. which, yeah. Um, and I felt terrible about it, but I'm pretty economical, pretty, you know, kind of try to live a certain lifestyle, an economical one. Uh, and then I, I didn't think it was good just to leave perfectly good dinner for me, a wolf, that's dinner for me, a pig, a dead pig is dinner for me. I thought it wasn't economical just to leave it lying there. So, uh, so I decided to, to not let it rot, but to eat it. It's very interesting. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Mr. Wolf. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you mm -hmm. for yeah. having me. Mr. Wolf, not, not Mr. Bad Wolf. Just Mr. Alexander just, Wolf. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you want to read the rest of Mr. Wolf's story, you can pick up a copy, True Story of the Three Little Pigs, at your local library, and you can decide for yourself who's signed it or not.